Okay, in today's video, we are going to go over number four, problem number four for our potential difference problems that we are using to help you get a better understanding about potential difference and electric potential energy. All right, and today's problem, we are going to try to figure out what voltage we want to put across our parallel plates if we know the distance between the plates and we're going to be given a specified electric field strength that we want to have between the plates. So this is the problem that we're going to work on. We have parallel plates, and parallel plates are different than point charges in the sense that in the par between parallel plates, you have a uniform electric field. With point charges, you do not have a uniform electric field. The electric field decreases as you move away from a point charge. But between parallel plates, the electric field is the same anywhere between those plates. Okay, as long as you're kind of near the middle of the plates. Now, we're told that the plates are 15 millimeters apart, and we want to have an electric field that is 750 volts per meter, and we want to know how large should the voltage be, what voltage, what potential difference should we place across those plates. Now, remember, in an earlier video, when we talked about electric field, Okay, we talked about that the units for electric field are newtons per coulomb. That's the definition of electric field, the force per unit of charge. Now, this says, and it might seem a little weird, volts per meter. Well, volts per meter can be simplified or, or can also is also equal to newtons per coulomb because a volt is a joule per coulomb, a joule is a newton meter, and the meters cancel, and you're left with newtons per coulomb. So I just want to point out that volts per meter is the same thing as newtons per coulomb. Now, you should remember from your class, from your textbook, from what you saw on the internet, from what you saw when you watched one of my videos, that we have this equation. And this is the equation we can use to calculate the electric field strength if we know the potential difference and the distance between the plates. Delta R stands for the separation. This equation can only be used for parallel plates because, as we said earlier, parallel plates have a uniform electric field. Now, we are given in this video, in this problem, the distance. We know 15 millimeters. We're given that we want to have an electric field of 750 volts per meter, and we want to know what voltage, what potential difference should we place across those plates. So we are going to rearrange this equation and put down the delta V, the change in potential, the potential difference, is equal to the electric field, which in this case is measured in volts per meter, and the distance between the plates, which is, of course, measuring the distance in millimeters, we're going to convert that to meters, of course, and then we'll cancel and we'll end up with volts. So we get that the potential difference that we want is equal to the electric field strength, which is 750 volts per meter, times the distance, which 15 millimeters is 15 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. And all we do is multiply those, and that tells us that we want to put a voltage, a potential difference across those plates of 11.25 volts. And we, when we do that, and the plates are 15 millimeters apart, then we will get an electric field of 750 volts per meter. Okay, so that's all there is to it. That should help you get a kind of an understanding about how we use those equations that we talked about in our electric potential energy and our potential difference videos. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful in clarifying those concepts. Um, if you found it helpful, you could give me a thumbs up or you could give me a comment in the comment section below and either you can give me a positive comment or if you didn't like the video, you could tell me why you didn't like the video. All right, so give me a comment, give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video.